one. You are watching Sipping Off the Cuff on tequilaaficionado.com. And no, this is not a boot show. Um, you know, Alex, if you're going to take your shoes off, put them on the floor. <laughs> Put him on the floor. <laughs> Res. I'm, I'm Mike Morales in, in San Antonio. You, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, Alex, that I'm a big boot guy because that's all I wear. If, I, if I'm not wearing tennis shoes, I'm wearing boots. And this is Dos Artes. This is, this is, you, you, you know, you can, you can find them on Facebook. You can, uh, I, I think that's really the only on Facebook at this point. But um, you can see pictures that they post on Facebook. They, this is this is taking Costco by storm. Um, we're going to do the extra añejo after this show. This is the añejo of Dos Artes. Uh, I, you and well, I have the Blanco and the Reposado, but I have them in storage. So you and I are going to have to wait on on those two. But uh, Alvaro Molina, who is the brand owner of this, look, take a look at that. Show him your. Isn't that cool? Look at that. The detail on this is just incredible. Isn't that beautiful? It's probably the the the, the, uh, the neatest looking bottle I have in, in my collection. He's not in Texas yet. And when I spoke to him, I said, "You are going. This is going to fly off the shelf. You will not be able to keep it in stock." Now you just opened yours, Alex, and I can tell you, you, you got to be real careful with with when you open it because the the top is a little little tricky it, I, I'm not gonna lie to you it, it's a this is kind of a bisque finish and be real careful when you pull this out because number one you don't want to pull the cork out look I mean, check this is this is what the cork looks like on the inside it's a it's a synthetic cork, synthetic cork? yeah and it, it's a it's a bisque yeah. Finish on the inside, but it's glazed. It's got to be handmade. Oh, these are these are from the same people that Alex that made uh, uh, Amor Mio. This is from the same artisans that made Amor Mio. You remember Amor Mio? We flipped over it. It was one of our Brands of Promise Award winners wow. um, for real packaging. Real decanter. Oh yeah. Look at that thing. Yeah. Unbelievable. Now this is the añejo of this, and I will tell you again: be real careful because it, it's a it's a difficult pour. How do you pour it like this? Well, you're just going to have to hold it by the by the heel, and Yeehaw! just yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Now you you'll notice that you have a, a there's a well, kind of like on the inside. So in case you spill anything. It's just gonna fall right there. You can lick it up. You can lick. You put a straw in it and suck it, or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like one of those uh, scorpion bowls, you know, when they do. The oh yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody, put your straw in, and you light a little fire on your. Yeah, yeah, the old. Oh gosh, from the remember the bahuka? They used to sell. They used to have those drinks at the bahuka. Remember the bahuka? I, so I actually drove by there the other day, and and it's just. <sighs> In shambles because they sold, you know. They, sold. Yeah, they did. Well, it's it now is not doing anything with it. It was it was famous for years. I I mean, my dad took us there when we were kids, and I'm sure you were there lots of times. It, it was always the uh, a tiki kind of place in uh, in Southern California, but anyway, um, yeah, that's what it looks like. And um, this, uh, like I say, these are Alvaro Molina is the brand owner of Dos Artes. This is his tequila. It comes out of Tres Mujeres Distillery, which is uh, what gnome is that, Alex? Um, um, offhand, I can't, I don't see it. It's so, it's so tiny. Let's see. All right, hang on. It's holy 1466. cow. 1466. Yes, 1466. Tequila Tres Mujeres. Um, Alvaro Molina is also the distributor at, at some point uh, of a more meal, like I said. I mean, check that out. The detail on this thing. The detail's right. crazy. It's crazy detail. If you are a boot nut like I am, look at that. You even have the, the, the boot, the, the loops to pull the oh, boot up. Nice. Well, yeah. I mean, you've got... If, if you're anywhere in the Southwest or you're anywhere in Texas, when you see this bottle, 
you are going to want it. It's got to be in your in your collection. Uh, right now, I think it's taking Southern California down in the San Diego County area by storm. It's it's all over Costco's, and you know, and he's got dozens of these, and and he can't Costco can't keep them in stock. That's so, right. uh, but but let's see how the juice is. Let's it's check a, out the it's juice. A, it's got a deep golden hue. And uh, the legs are real pretty coming down the sides. Um, when I spoke to Mr. Molina, he told me that, that this is actually, um, I believe it's rested in whiskey barrels, used whiskey barrels. So it may lean more toward the, the whiskey portion of it. Nice. Oh, it's got beautiful legs, Alex. You know, the, that Tres Mujeres is, a, is a, another favorite distillery with some with lots of pedigree and a lot of people follow it. Just oh, like, yeah. just like we were talking about uh, uh, some of the other distilleries. I forget which brand it was that we were we were looking and at. San Nicolas and, and San Nicolas. And their pedigree there. Yeah. Yes, and and this one has very similar. They they suffered a fire. Uh, a few years back and rebuilt and came back stronger than ever, in my opinion. Whoa, whoa, holy cow. It's such a, it's such a rich nose. Wow, Alex, it's so it's almost like rosy. It's like roses and... Yeah, it's a really refined... Um, again, you get the, the caramel, but it's almost, um, it's almost like candy. It's just a real refined candy. Yeah, and we're not saying candy in a bad sense. You, you may have heard us say candy before at some other brands. This is more of a this is more of a like a like a lozenge candy. You know, stuff that you yeah put, yeah kind of honey. Yeah, there's a there's a honey and maybe spices like a like a like an allspice. Yeah, definitely allspice. Nice. Wow, this is beautiful. Holy mm. cow. Wow. Really smooth coming in. Mm. Mm. Still has a little pow on the tongue. Mm. Mm. A little honey, honey notes. I'm getting some, maybe a little bit of citrus and some mint. Maybe. On the retro nasal, I'm getting a little bit of mint, maybe a little bit of citrus. <clears throat> it coats your palate. I'm not going to lie to you; it's going to coat your palate. Nice. Delicious after dinner. This is definitely a digestif where you sit. Oh wow, this is nice. What a winner. Automatic brand of promise, right? <laughs> Automatic brand of promise and nominee. Packaging. I love the packaging. The packaging is ingenious. Um, uh, Alvaro Molina. Uh, the, Did you display this on the, just like this on the show? On yes, the yes, and there's dozens of them. You can you can check out his Facebook page, uh, under Dos Artes Tequila. Now, what do you and, mean dozens? You mean different colors? Yes. Well, you know, you and I have different colors. Uh, there. Sad. There's here. a. Yeah, Mira. Oh, I like that one. Well, I like yours too, man. Very cool. Yeah, but see, mine's mine's a snake skin. Mine's like a gator skin or something. Yeah, very cool. So are these, are these like numbered or something? Uh, no, unfortunately, they're not numbered or or uh, uh, signed. But they are the, the they're if you're into artisan uh, uh, tequila in in artistic type of bottles, these are it. They're not made in China. They are not hand painted by a little Korean kids somewhere. Is it not China? No, no. It, this is China. no, it's not. No, that's what I said. No China. Yeah, no China. This is this is made by the same folks that made uh, that made the bottles for. This is a family show. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, but these are the same. These are the same. These are the same. Uh, is it really family show? <laughs> it's alcohol, man. Um, the, this is from the same artisans that worked on on the Amor Mio bottle, which you remember was glass, 
and then ceramic on the bottom, ceramic on the top. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. Uh, you remember the, the extra Añejo, I think, was a complete ceramic bottle. Um, so he went to the same people and said, this is what I want. And they are producing dozens of these. They can't keep them on the shelves. San Diego County is going bananas with it. I'm sure it's in other places. Um, you can check out to see where in Southern California they are. I know that they want to come to Texas. And I, I told the Alvaro Molina, the, the brand owner, you will not be able to keep them on the shelves. Anybody in the Southwest is going to want these. I know that when he... He asked me, he, he sent me a text message. He goes, what color do you want? <laughs> and I said, because he knew I wore boots. When I first met him, we, we t he, he originally started as an importer and, and uh, 17 years ago, almost 18 years ago. And I met him at a Starbucks. And, um, and he noticed that I was wearing boots. And I think that idea kind of stuck in his head. And, I, you know, and, and, he, uh, and he ran with it. And I think he has got a tremendous, and of course, he's got a great distillery. You know, the Tres Mujeres Distillery. Wow. What a winner. Good stuff. Brand of promise on the, on the packaging. Brand of promise on the uh, Nijo. Nijo, most definitely. H highly recommended. Great pl flavor profile. This is not one. The price point is on this. Do you know what the pricing is on this? I, I don't. Honestly, I don't know. It's a, it's a beautiful piece. It's not, not just, not just the, the packaging. But what's inside is just yes, and it's got to be reasonable because if Costco has it, you know it's not going to cost you a, a complete arm and leg. Um, just half, just half, you know. But it, but it, I, but I gotta tell you, it's worth it. Yeah. It really is worth it if you can get it. If you can get something for your collection that nobody else has or that very few people have, and you have the juice to go with it. And you can get it at Costco, for God's sake. Come on. What's not to love? You know, it's, love it's it. yeah. And and there's no telling how long that run is going to be, you know, how long he'll be at Costco. Because you know how Costco is. If you don't buy it when it's there, you could come back next week and it's not there anymore. Uh, so find it. It's called Dos Artes. You can look them up on Facebook. It's outstanding stuff. Mira, look at that. Really good. And it's, and it's an artisan bottle, so you are supporting artists from Mexico. Like I say, it's not, it's not made in China. It's not one of those. He, Alvaro Molina really, really wanted to keep everything authentic and in Mexico, and that's what, exactly what he did. So kudos to him. Uh, for those of you who are, who are fanatics about the history of some tequilas, he was the, the brains behind um, El Ultimo Agave. For a lot of people, that's 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 a that's been a winner tequila for so long. He he was one of the original um, uh, importers and developers of that brand years and years ago. So this guy knows his stuff. He knows his stuff. So go get yourself a bottle. Uh, I'm Mike Morales here in San Antonio. I'm Alex Perez enjoying my boot. You're watching sipping off the cuff on tequila aficionado. TequilaAficionado.com. <laughs> That's easy for you to say. <laughs> As always, sip wisely.